Catherine and welcome to my channel and today I wanted to do another backpack review. I wanted to talk about the Konkin Mini. So here it is and this isn't just a regular Konkin as you can tell. It has this really cool embroidery. So one day I was FaceTiming my friends and just stumbling on Pinterest and I saw this embroidered backpack so this actually caught my attention and i've been wanting to get a konkin backpack for quite a while now and so i've actually been thinking about getting this and when i saw that there's the embroidered option i knew that it was something that i was very interested in obviously i got it so i wanted to talk about it today um not only did i want to talk about just like my experience with getting an embroidered backpack but also just the konkin in general i actually have kind of pros and cons to it i feel like a lot of people really really love this backpack and i want to love it as much as a lot of people do but there's just certain things that i'm kind of iffy about and i wish was different um and it's all about the konkin itself not about the embroidery so with the embroidery i went on to etsy and i found a place and it's called after august co and i really loved my service with her um she basically offers it for every single konkin color that you can think of that exists um, under the konkin line i hope i'm saying konkin right by the way um i'm not scandinavian in any way <laughs> But I was being very, very indecisive with what color I wanted to get. I knew I didn't. I wanted something more neutrally than like the bright pinks or something. And then I found this um, color that's a deep forest color with like, I think it's called acorn, the uh, accent. But she was so responsive, so quick, so sweet. I loved it. And you can actually choose everything that you want. The colors, the types of embroidery, if you want your name on there, if you want like she has options because i'm really indecisive she had options for different flowers and i just didn't know what i wanted and i ended up choosing this one obviously and you could change the color of the flowers you could add more flowers she asked if i wanted any little extra cute creatures so i asked for like a butterfly and then the little bumblebee and i think that's so adorable um and so yes you basically get the backpack when you get the embroidery there may be an option to send your backpack to get it embroidered but i feel like that's a lot of back and forth with shipping um but really the kind of main thing most people do is when they buy the backpack they buy it through her it's a real konkin um and i think konkins are around like a hundred dollars the mini ones i don't know the exact price but um so she charges that but then she charges an additional amount to embroider it obviously so it's not cheap it came out to about 140 dollars um but this is a real konkin it's hand embroidered um so there's that and you can customize it as much as you want so i do think it's a decent price for what you get but it's it's a pretty nice design it's pretty deep there's one pocket and you can fit a lot in this. So what I like about this bag is that it's bigger than any of my purses and any of my little day bags. If I'm gonna go hiking or if I'm gonna do something that requires me to have more stuff, um, maybe going to Disneyland or like something where like I want a full size water bottle and just things that don't fit in a typical bag, this would be my go-to bag. So I really love that, that there's just so much space and yet it's not like an overwhelmingly big bag. And then you've got the side pockets, which many people say only like a tiny single-use plastic water bottle could fit in. So that's one thing. But I know I've heard a lot of people like to use that for their, their phone because people like to have easy access to their phone. And so I have the plus and with a pop socket. And so it fits, but I kind of have to like push it in there. But it does fit. So that's an option right there. And there's the pop sockets getting kind of stuck in the bag. But, um, and then there's this pocket on here. You can adjust the straps as you wish. It's a little complicated. Um, I think there's instructions when you buy it, but I really just Googled how to adjust straps on Konkin. And once you see the video, that's like 30 seconds. It's really easy. Um, so on your own, it's kind of hard, but once you get a video, it's fine. And then there's a front pocket. Um, but I really like the kind of accent color with this. And it's still a color. It's not like a true neutral, but it's something that I think will match with a lot of things. And then I love the pops with the flowers. Now, the thing that I'm kind of unsure about this is that I have a backpack, the Rebecca Minkoff um, Julian backpack, and it's the mini, which I also have a review on. That backpack, it's just, you can adjust the straps to a very long length. So with my backpacks, with my purses, I really like for 
them to be kind of lower on me whereas this one I have it to the very max right and it's still not quite low enough to where I want it I still feel like it's super upright and kind of stiff um and I just kind of wish I could just make it lower I want to make the straps lower I'm like are they all like this I could have sworn when I've seen people wear them out and about that they're not so like rigid I don't know it's just like up here which is normal for like a backpack but I just kind of wish it was kind of hung lower I don't know if I'm being weird about it and when there's stuff in it it feels more like this you know and I just kind of wanted to sit lower so that's kind of the the biggest thing that I wish was different about this backpack that I could adjust the straps even lower another thing and maybe it'll help with wear and tear but I just feel like it's so stiff and it's just like this big deep box on the back of my bag where it's like my Rebecca backpack here I'll get it my Rebecca backpack Rebecca mean cough it like I know this is such a personal preference but it sits just really low and it's so soft and like the straps are thin and it's soft leather and it almost feels like it's not on me which is what I want when I put it on to not worry about it and not feel it on me Whereas this one's just higher up on my back and it's really stiff. So yeah, this is for comparison how big the backpack is compared to the Rebecca Minkoff Mini Julian. Um, so it's almost the same height. It's a bit taller and then it's definitely deeper. So this is more of like an everyday, everyday black backpack goes with everything. And this one's more like if I want something a bit more fun and to have like a pop of color in my outfit and... I could really see this being a good bag for hiking or something because I could not fit like a big water bottle in this. I could fit a big water bottle in this. I may have to put it inside, but that's definitely a plus. And so just bigger kind of longer days where I want more space. Okay, so I wanted to show what fits in a Konkin backpack just to give you an idea. Um, don't mind my dog sleeping right there. She got eye surgery recently and just loves to be near me whenever I'm home so let me try and open this so this is the inside it opens up like the zipper goes down to almost the very end and it it's very deep lots of space so this is like literally I emptied out my everyday backpack which is the Rebecca Minkoff to see kind of what it fits and then I also grabbed a water bottle I know a water bottle would fit like look how it fits there's so much space and it doesn't go to the top and there's so much space of that so you know you could just I have a bunch of masks in here um, I had this little toiletry bag um, you know, throw makeup in there throw gum in there wallet two car keys um, hand sanitizer more, um, lip balm, Listerine strips. I was helping my friend move, so tape, measuring tape, cell phone. And so that all goes in there and there's still so much space to fit. So if you kind of go like this and you can see it's kind of a mess but there's still so much space in there. And for example, I have this little, this notebook, and that could go easily, easily in here. So definitely so much space. There you go. Um, definitely this isn't, you know, an overnight bag. This isn't the size of a school backpack. Um, you know, this is like a mini notebook, but definitely for a day bag, so roomy. Yeah, that's kind of my overall thoughts on the backpack and overall I really like it. I don't regret getting it. I love the colors. I had an amazing experience with After August Co. But overall I really like this bag and I do recommend it and I'm glad I finally got it because I've been looking at this for honestly years. Um, I think just the price and me not being really into like mini backpacks until recently really kind of stopped me but yeah that's been my review of the backpack and i hope you enjoyed bye